so this course is a figure eight course. So it's basically two circles that they reverse around. The tricky part is the lanes have to line up with the opposing circle. So it's not actually like a perfect eight where there's two circles. It's actually a little spread apart and the two lanes intersect. Basically what we're doing now is these strings here give us our outside lane, which is marked by this yellow uh, mark on the ground. And then our inside lane is marked by the green. And they're 13 feet apart. And now what I do is take the outside lane from this side and then I run a string back to that side there. And that connects back with my inside lane there. Okay, Wayne, so I'm lining this up. So the inside of this circle is lining up with the outside of that circle to have a straight lane so it wraps around, okay? So you just wanna pull tight. And then I do the opposite. And then basically that gives me my lane that when they go around, it's a perfect circle that they can drive in a straightaway into the circle on either end. So we start out with a lane at uh, between 12 and 13 feet uh, because we want in the straightaways for them to actually pick up some speed as they go around. Then what we'll do is we'll get the actual car out here and we'll test it and we'll do it in reverse. And usually the swing of the car around the circles will actually end up widening the outside uh, arch a little bit more. Last year we used a limo. This year we're using a big giant station wagon. So they're, they're similar, but they have different turning radiuses. And uh, so it's kind of based on the vehicle. It's usually within like a foot or two, depending on right? so This course here is probably the most difficult one to lay out, I would say. This, it's tricky with the circles and the swing of the car and just having the lane to line up straight. Um, it's just a, it's a tricky course to lay out. There's an overhead shot of this and it has to be like exact. So it has to look like a mirror image on both sides. And if the one side's off, you notice it right away. So it's quite tricky when you're trying to do it on the ground and then you see the shot from the drone that's 100 feet above. It's quite easy to lay it out if you're on the drone, but from down here, it's tricky to try to lay out something this big. Ah! 